Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Um, going to have a look at aftermarket app for my phone, which is the Huawei P10 uh, Android operating system. If you have an iPhone, uh, you'll obviously be looking at something different, but uh, iPhones generally have a quite a good um, camera app inbuilt. Um, if your camera app is suitable, then you, know, you don't have to go through this process, but I'm going to show you that there are apps available that can give us a little bit more functionality with our cameras. Okay, so in the Play Store, if I come to the camera apps for Android, uh, Filmic Pro, I'd love to get that. It's a great app, um, 21 bucks though, very pricey for an app. Uh, the one I have installed is ProCam X Lite. Okay, um, it seems to have quite a lot of the features that um, I would like us to be using. Uh, it's not perfect, um, but yeah, if you are lacking features for your phone, this could be the apps for you. Okay, so I have installed that already. I'm going to have a look at the app now. Okay, looking at this app, there are some things that I can change up here. Uh, it certainly doesn't seem to be utilizing the full capabilities of my camera. Uh, 8.3 megapixels uh, as opposed to the 20 that I can get. Um, so that is a bit of a problem. It can shoot RAW, uh, which is great. Um, JPEG or RAW. Um, JPEGs at 99% quality. Uh, I haven't taken a photo yet, but we'll have a look at that. Um, Okay, and grids and things like that, as you can see across the top here. All right, setting an auto white balance. I can go uh, cloudy, uh, sunlight, uh, fluorescence, uh, incandescence, a custom white balance. Again, that's done that weird thing. I don't like it. Or full auto. <clears throat> okay, full auto seems to be okay for now. Now everything is set at full auto. So you can see I can adjust my exposure compensation when everything's set to full auto. So I can get that background looking very, very white and bright. This is just a piece of card I've laid up against the wall and put the uh, lens there as my product. <clears throat> okay, so EV you can see is working when everything's in full auto. So my focus mode, um, auto focus at the moment, this is a macro focus mode, very handy for something like this. Uh, I can lock the focus. I can do an infinity focus, which is not going to work great for this. In this instance, I can manually focus, okay, which uh, can be handy uh, for certain effects if we're trying to blur out certain areas of a larger product um, and only focus on a certain area. That's very handy for us. Okay. Um, and let's go back to my focus, yeah, manual focus, um, back to auto focus for now. Okay, uh, you can see that I can also change my ISO manually, okay, so uh, I can change my exposure um, through my ISO. Again, being careful that I don't uh, get that ISO up too high because you can see if I zoom in things start to get very grainy okay um, that should look a bit better here obviously I've lost some detail because of the actual exposure is not great I don't want to zoom at all no zoom okay so I'm going to look at my shutter speed certainly to adjust my exposure in this instance. Okay, so if my ISO is down at 100, nice and low. <clears throat> I've changed my shutter speed. It's at 2.5 seconds. I'm definitely going to have to keep this camera steady. Okay, so I can put it on a three second timer if I wanted to push that. Again, I'll get the countdown, take the photo. Okay, so that is this little app um, not a bad app if you don't have the features available to you and there'll be something for um, iphone users as well all right so there's just some of the features that we definitely want is that iso shutter speed and manual focus okay and also a white balance can come in handy for us um, timers those kind of things so this is a fairly decent little app and could be useful for your android phone